Dwayne Hosey with the Ultimate Baseball Academy, and I have an outfield tip for you. Uh, there's a lot more to being an outfielder. When you get to a stadium, especially for you high school kids, uh, there's a lot of preparation that you need to do as an outfielder. First of all, I like to come out to the outfield, and I like to kind of get all this stuff done during batting practice. I like to come out early, do early work, and kind of examine the backstop. I want to see what kind of angles I need to get from the backstop. Do I have a good backdrop there? I want to know my conditions. If there's a lights in the field, that, that, that will be a problem later on in the night when they turn the lights on. If I run to the gap, will this be an issue? I want to know my conditions on my right fielder and my left fielder because, you know, obviously a center fielder roams and uses the whole field, so I might, know, I might need to know both conditions. I want to know the conditions of the grass, if the ball is a snake. Sometimes you hit a ball in the outfield, it's a snake. Sometimes balls take real fast hops. Is it a high grass? That it means balls will be slower. All these things you have to take into consideration to be in a being a great outfitter. Now, if we go out to the outfit over here, deeper over here, there's other things I want to look at as well. You know, if a ball is hit deep in the gap over here, I want to know if the ball is going to take off. Like this wall, for instance. You know, I played in Fenway with a green wall like this as well. And I wanted to know if that ball hit the wall, which angle would I, would I need to take? Will it come hard off the wall? Will it stop? Would it come over? And, and when I was playing the Fenway, the ball hit by his crease. I knew that if it hit that crease, it was going to come back this way. Or if it hit in this corner, it was going to go back that way towards left field. And all these things will help you put, be, be a decent outfielder. Um, also, the condition of the warning tracks. You know, for your safety, some warning tracks have, have dirt, uh, dirt tracks, some have rubber. But you want to know at full speed, during batting practice, you want to run full speed and take how many steps it takes for you to touch the wall. And that way, in the game situation, that you're not being surprised when things happen. You know, that's, being better prepared in the outfielder will make you a great outfielder and, you know, and stop teams from scoring runs. So be a prepared outfielder, okay? Um, know your conditions of the field and don't just come out there just to take fly balls. Really take consideration of, of all your conditions because that'll make you a better ball player. And that was my tip.